Hello, my name is Russell Hausen of the Piano Outlet in Margate, Florida. Today I want to demonstrate to you this beautiful Kawaii. This is a 5 foot 10 Kawaii KG2. 5 foot 10 is measured from the very front to the very back. It's also 58 inches wide. This piano was originally made in 1981 and is in spectacular condition. If you notice, it's in a polished walnut cabinet, which is very, very rare. Most of the time when you see uh, veneers on these pianos, they're going to be in a satin finish or a natural finish. Uh, this is really, really nice because it has a polyester clear coat over the walnut finish. makes it really stand out. Uh, this particular piano came in. Since it was in 1981, uh, I decided to put a brand new set of strings in the piano. And as you'll see, everything in here is brand new. All the pins, pin bushings, once we had the strings out, we were able to really clean the soundboard and polish it. There's absolutely no cracks or pressure ridges in the soundboard. It's basically like a brand new piano. Uh, the plate, which is this part here, all the paint in it is in perfect condition. There's no scratches. It's in, uh, basically, it looks like new. Uh, when you change the strings, you're able to put in brand new bass strings. And as you'll see, they're nice and bright in color, not brown and crusty. Because what happens through the years is they tend to lose their shine. And when you look inside the piano, it's very uninspiring. You don't see the, the nice, clean, shiny hardware and uh, beautiful soundboard. Uh, when you look here, these are the tuning pins. We also took out all the screws. We had them buffed and polished. And I had them put back in. Basically, the piano looks brand new again. Uh, when you change the pins on the piano, you go up one size. This piano has size three tuning pins. There are six sizes. So if you figure every 25 years you restring a piano, there's plenty of more time with the, for this piano to go a couple more of our lifetimes. Um, the stringing of this piano was done by our in-house Steinway technician who spent 30 years at the Steinway factory in Queens, New York, where uh, he worked. Uh, and he's also second generation. His name is Sal Verlina. And um, he's probably one of the best uh, piano technicians, at least on the East Coast. Anyway, I'm going to sit down and play the piano a little bit. And this way you can get a, uh, an idea of how it sounds. It's a little out of tune because a piano with brand new strings tends to go out of tune a little quicker than uh, pianos that have sat a while with the same strings. And that's normal for a new piano. And so you'd expect this piano to behave just like a new piano in that respect. <coughs> when the piano came in, we inspected the hammers. They're in brand new condition. They've never been filed. There's very little hammer impressions on them. And uh, the action has been regulated, so it plays very even. Very, very warm sounding piano.
sounding. And I can play this piano as much as I can, and it really it, it holds up. There's no other sounds inside the piano other than what, you, what you're supposed to hear. Uh, sometimes with older pianos, they're, they're loud, and they may, may play a little sloppy. But this piano, uh, the key bushings are really tight, and that's, if, if you watch my hands, if I try to move the keys from side to side, you see that they're very snug, and that's a, a prop that you find in a piano that uh, really hasn't had much use. The reason for that is because whoever bought this piano really bought it mostly as a piece of furniture. <laughs> So if you have any other further questions about it, feel free to give me a call. I can take more pictures, send you another video, uh, call me about this piano or any of the other pianos we have here at Piano Outlet, where we feature only the best and used Yamaha and Kawhi pianos. They're the largest selection in the world. Thank you very much.